crossbow. Okay, it contains of a wooden dowel that is about maybe 10 inches, 8 inches long, a rubber band, really any size. The smaller you go, the farther you stretch it, the more powerful your crossbow will be. Our elevators, just some Lego bricks. A heavy Lego and big, big and heavy Lego platform. Some Lego brick, some le four by two Lego bricks. Another Lego platform, and then a little. Uh, then you put there's some side by side, but with a little groove in the middle for the the bolt to go, and then. Put this little wall right here. Any size you really want. The more powerful it is, probably bigger the wall you want. And then just use anything to push over the wall. We're working on a trigger system. And then we have the cover so when you fire, it doesn't just like shoot up, kill you. We have our handle if you want to dismount, go and and combat. Um, or you can hold it like this, gives it a little more weight. Gives it a little cooler to it. Um, then we have these two bars. There's two bars on the sides that holds the rubber bands. You can move them really far forward for more power, really far back for less power. It all depends on what you want to do. We'll be making a tutorial soon. And so yeah, you just make it really like this. It's really simple. Lego bricks. So and then you can find a wooden dowel at Michaels for like fifty nine cents for like four feet, so you can make a bunch of shots. Uh try to get the one that has the baby blue blue on the end. The baby blue on the end of it when you buy it at Michael's because that's the one that fits in the pencil stripper anything else is too small or too big and then any really rubber band works and we're gonna be shooting at our Spongebob which I need to go set up okay he's currently in a bad mood I got pissed him off yesterday with my girlfriend. Um, so we're gonna set up our elevators. You know, your elevators can be anything, a bunch of blocks or a couple blocks. I just chose like this. Just get a little elevation, gotta set it up. And move it over here. Um, I think that should go straight for his mouth. And let's see. Okay, looks like we missed. Put it fired. Fired. Oh, and what you want to do is you want to cut a groove in it with like a saw or like anything that can cut a groove. So you can stick your rubber band in it. So yeah. And may, we may show a tutorial about our hidden blade crossbows. So, I hit him right about here in the stomach, so that means I need to raise it, and yeah, he's still in a bad mood. Okay, well, let's try shooting again. So this is how you simply load it. Hold on. Simply load it. Just take this, stick it in this end until it comes all the way out to the back. And I will have my partner And then you stick it like this. You can use one or two. Two's better. Stick it in and stick it in. Pull it back, and if you can have a partner with you so you can
stick a, the barrier in front. My cameraman is helping, so I'll pull it back. Puts it on. Don't have to put it on there too tight. Just enough to hold it. And then load it again. Then, since I didn't get it last time, I'm going to raise it by one block. And I'm going to aim it towards him. He's about that direction. And aim it for about his eyes. Get about his stomach. Hold on. That guy could... Okay. Let's see. Oh! Well, I hit him with the barrier. And the barrier usually goes firing, so I, this came and hit him in the foot, so he's probably bleeding. Um, so, yeah, that's how you make your own simple.